What up folks, I'm UltraZilla and this is the Ultra Z News a Week and update got a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. Starting with some new X Plus coming, we got Monster X in the D4 Real line. We got Iris in the D4 Real line. I'm gonna be like, you know, firing off uh, these pretty quick. Um, Godzilla Final Wars and a new Toho, uh, Toho Maniacs, Tokyo Maniacs, one of those. <laughs> um, and that's obviously a zillion or a zillion leader. Not, not an ex zillion. Not, not, not to be confused with you guys, my zillions. Um, so we got some really nice stuff here. I think Monster X looks beautiful. Obviously, with the head breaking, I think this might be the Rick on this because it comes with uh speaking of zillions comes with one of those so that looks like the rick version uh iris looks amazing gamma 3 of course g04 looks pretty good too i do like it and this dude you know he's okay i'm i'm not in on this line so um they have yet to do something that i really really want i kind of want them a tango but Eh, eh, the mushroom person. Eh, I skipped it. <laughs> Too much stuff. Sticking with them, but moving to the Star East side and the uh, Wonders of the Wild line. Um, got the Concavenator here. I believe that's a Concavenator. Could be a different <laughs> one. Uh, and uh, the Spinosaurus. What's concave in nature of this thing behind it? I think it might be the thing in behind it, guys. It's okay. We got two dinos that look good. How about that? So, <laughs> there you go. We're, we're going to move on. I moved on too far, apparently. All right. This is awesome. Moving to Bandai. This is the Dyna Action Omega Mon. This thing looks incredible. And it looks very different than the uh, previous SH Figure Arts, which is down here. Really, really nice looking. Really like it a lot. So it doesn't really look like just an upscaled SH Figure Arts here. I like this, guys. I do. It's very expensive, and it's P Bandai exclusive, at least right now. But it looks gorgeous. It comes with those dudes from the show. That's nice stuff. I love me some Omega Mon, that's for sure. Looks fantastic. I think it's pretty good. I think it's very good. Uh, cloth cape. Bendy wires. That's pretty nice, I have to say. Yes, this stand looks really good. And there you go. SH Monster Arts had a new reveal this week, and it's a brand new... It's a brand new car! No, it is a brand new Monster Hunter Rise figure. And uh, the name is escaping me right now. I had the window open with the info. And now I do not. But it's a Monster Hunter Rise figure. Um, and it looks really nice, I do have to say. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. He's a bubble, bubble dragon. It's kind of cool. It's very cool, actually, right? I think that's very, very nice. Let's see. Still, I'm still looking for the uh, the name here. It's here somewhere. It's in my notes. You know it already, but it's in here. <laughs> Where? Uh, Mitsuzuni. Ah, uh, yikes. Yikes. Talk about slowing me down. It's all right. I don't edit these, so... At least not normally. These just get recorded on StreamYard, and then to you they go. I might as well do them live. Should I do the Ultra Z News live, guys? That's a little poll for you. Um, something I, I've thought about, but I don't know if I would. Then it takes away from Ultra Z, Ultra Zilla Live, right? Which I need to, to do again. Got some ideas. This looks really good. Pink dragon. Purple. Pink and purple. With some bubbles. 
I like it. The detail looks good. I wasn't sure if I was going to continue this line, but this does look really nice. So maybe one more. Or maybe more. You know, we got to say. Zenogre was great. So don't have uh, much info on this quite yet. You know, as far as price, availability, and all that. So SAHF is doing a Wyndham from Ultraman Z. Um, we initially saw like one pick of this guy running way back when with the rest of the uh, the mechs. But nothing ever since then. And uh, this week we got this. And this week was a opening of the Tamashi store Tokyo, I believe. Um, and they showed off a lot of stuff. So this is very cool. He got really long legs. But I like it. I do. I think it looks good. I like Wyndham a lot. So I got better or worse. I got uh, seven gear. King Joe's pretty awesome. But, you know, we got to get Wyndham. Moving to Super Sentai, and uh, this is from Zenkaiser. We I recently got Zenkaiser, which I still have to review. Uh, but we're getting two Kaiser to go along with Zenkaiser, who was great on this show. I absolutely love this character. Um, so uh, this might be a must for me as well. This guy's looks amazing. This is the movie Venom. It's coming to the SH Figure Arts line. How cool is that? And this is, I believe, from Let There Be Carnage. I have not seen that movie. Heck, I haven't seen the first movie. So, yeah, pretty cool there. And this was crazy. This is those tech on figures, but this is Wolverine possessed by Venom. That's that's bananas. Let's just take everything, mash them all together. A mech, Wolverine, <laughs> Venom. That's just bananas and the um the results are pretty good i have to say this is the uh the most bananas thing i've seen so yeah pretty good we're getting some more shoto ultras here we got a bunch of them there including oh including two that I haven't reviewed yet in the Ultra Action line, uh, the uh, Ultraman Zero Luna Mode and uh, Luna Miracle and Strong Corona Mode. That's right. I said the word. I said the word, guys. I said the word. So we got more of those coming. We got some kits coming. Gyarados from uh, Pokemon. There's a Plymo kit. Speaking of Ultraman Zero, we got a figurized standard of him. And a figure eye standard of Ultraman Trigger Multi-Type. Also, in the Infantism, Infantism uh, line, Infinity line, Infinityism line, um, Mazinger Z, um, what's this dude called? Mazinger Z Zero. So, uh, that's pretty awesome looking. Nice little redesign of that outfit. That's pretty nice. Then uh, in the Motoroid, I think, wait, was this Motoroid? Oh, boy. Um, I think this Motoroid line from Good Smile. Ugh. We'll get Mike Gain. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was. No, it's Bandai. <laughs> Luckily, I put it in the right place. It's also Bandai, and this is in the SMP line, Shokogan Modeling Project. No longer Super Mini Plot. Yeah, Mike Gain. And that's a really nice looking mic game, that's that's for sure. Alright, this now uh is from uh now it says Plex there, but it's Art Spirits, and it is their Q collection, and we're getting a Pero one here uh from Godzilla Single Point. That's pretty cool, right? I haven't heard about any pre-orders opening up for this yet. But it's gonna be like close to 70 bucks um and that's that's pretty expensive i think it's gonna be big though but let's let's wait and see about that um but coming out in november once i have more info i'll get it to you but do check out my facebook page probably for that mafex is uh going to the well once again with this mold of spider-man in a classic mode it looks good though uh, but they are also doing a Scarlet Spider. How about that? That is pretty cool with the cloth uh, hoodie. Looks very, very comfy. 
Now let's move on to Hasbro because they had a lot of stuff going on and some new Transformers Reds in their new closed boxes. We're getting Thundercracker. This looks pretty decent. Obviously a repaint of uh, the Starscream mold. That's how they always go. He's got the same face and everything, so. Probably skip for me. What's not a skip for me is Prime Optimus Prime. That's right. Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime. Oh boy. Oh yes. I love this design of Optimus. And um, even though it's got the kind of ugly gray plastic, I think I got to have this. Um, yeah. It looks awesome. To go along with that, we're getting Megatron as well. That is amazing. And now I do have a version of this Megatron somewhere here in my backlog. Somewhere. Um, but this looks cool, and I will definitely get, you know, Prime and uh, Megs here. Moving on to Legacy, but this is a Velocitron um, subline that's going to be Walmart exclusive, I believe. We're getting Cosmos and... Uh, this guy the green guy <laughs> what that's the only pick of cosmos i have how did that happen oh cosmos is awesome this is a deluxe class cosmos again this one here i don't have any of the names i did i should override this is override this is road rocket road hauler sorry names are right there actually and uh this looks really really good this one I really like a lot. Like, I really want this one. Um, I don't think I want this. I don't. I definitely don't want this. I never really liked this mold that much. Cosmos I want. Where is the other picture of Cosmos? Is it still here? Did it get mixed up? There it is. How cool is he look there? <laughs> Love me some Cosmos. I gotta have that one. Uh, and I gotta have a Override here. She looks awesome. Really, really nice. And uh, this is uh, Nemesis Prime, and this is a must-have. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this one. It really looks great. Uh, and Clamp down here, uh, which I don't really need. Then we got Burnout. There's a lot of these guys. Really like the head sculpt. Very Prime-like head sculpt there. And a Blur, which looks cool. I really like uh, the look of this one. I love that head sculpt. It's really cool looking. So a few here that I really like, a few that I'm like, eh, whatever. But that's basically me with Transformers now, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. Now, this was interesting also. Tar, you know, moving on back to Tar, moving across to Target from Walmart. Um, some new, not new, but new stuff. Um, if you didn't know, Street Fighter versus Transformers was a thing already. Just from Takara. These are pricey. So these are really just the Takara's reissued here as target exclusives and the prices are going to be with them i don't have more picks than this but what i do have picks is for is the tonka x transformers uh tonkinator yes it's g1 devastator in tonka colors um i did pre-order this will i keep this i don't know because it's a little pricey but i really do kind of want it love tonka when i was a kid and um i like love devastator especially g1 devastator so yeah something to get guys something to get but we're not done there uh we got a shattered glass version of wheeljack i forget his name uh but this is a shattered glass version of wheeljack it looks really good and this guy this is the weapon thing for black zarek it's also be been redone give uh you know full wheeljack here a giant sword which looks cool, or you could armor him up like, you know, the other things that come apart. They're very modular, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty good. Moving over to Star Wars Black Series, we got this droid here from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, I've missed the last two episodes of Obi-Wan. Um, I'm gonna catch up, but just too busy and uh, too much to watch otherwise, but this guy looks great. I do like him as well. Probably not getting him, but I like him. I really want to get Apocalypse, Retro Apocalypse from Marvel Legends. That looks really cool. I do like that a lot. Moving over to NECA now. Almost done here, guys. Uh, Aliens Fire Team. We got two new 
uh, aliens. They look really good, man. I really like these a lot. Look at these guys. Really great head sculpts on these. Holy cow, I love them, actually. Very cool. This is a, a, a game I haven't played, but these look fantastic, I gotta say. And now, this is from last week. I meant to show this last week, but I, I for some reason, did not include the pics in my slide show here. Um, not slide show, but, you know. And uh, these look, this look, this looks awesome from Cal Production. It is a Cthulhu. How cool is that? An articulated Cthulhu. It's going to be about eight inches tall, I believe, or nine inches tall. We thought about doing a 10 inch tall, but I think they brought it down. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So... Check out 5K Toys in the coming days. They said they're going to be putting up pre-orders for this. It looks amazing. Here's some like in-hand shots by the uh, creator. And it comes with two different head sculpts, by the way. Which is incredible. So, depending on the price, I think I'm in on that. Last thing, something fun. Something, uh, you know, because I love comics. Uh, I'm in the comic industry. And um, Scott Pilgrim is getting a couple figures of Scott and Ramona. And this is from the small company Ish. Uh, and, you know, produced by them and Brian Lee O'Malley himself. And these look awesome. There's Ramona. Look really, really, really nice. Comes with two different heads, apparently. But different hair. Very, very, very cool. If you like Scott Pilgrim like I do, uh, these might be worth your time. And there you go, guys. I ended off in a little bit of a nice little note there. Hope you dug this Ultra Z news. Let me know if there was something you saw that I didn't talk about that you want to talk about. Feel free to do so down below. Until next time, peace out, peeps. <laughs>